Hello, uh, Vladimir. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Perfect. Okay. So, well, today is Wednesday, almost Friday, right? So, yeah, I know. Do you work on, on, on Sunday and Saturday? Oh. No. Okay. So, you are going to. In my case, in my, uh, uh, no, but I work in all business. Mm, so, you always work? Yes. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, sometimes it's kind of, I would say, uh, tiring. It's tiring, right? Yeah. I imagine, I imagine. Okay, so we're going to wait for some minutes, okay? Thank you, Vladimir. Uh, Pablo, well, are you better? Uh, more or less, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, okay, yes. Okay, Pablo, well... But at least, I mean, are you like, do you have a medical leave? Or no? Have you, have you actually rested? Uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you, Tony? Very fine, tired, but very fine. Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening, okay? So yeah, I know, tired, but, but fine. That is actually the attitude, Tony. <laughs> um, okay, Aleida, how are you? Well, Ale Aleida is gone. Okay, so let me see. We have Maris, we have Nelly, we have, let me see, Raul. Okay, so guys, Carlos, eh, Omar, well, you are joining right now. Okay, let me ask you something, guys. Can you see my, my whole screen? I'm, I'm sorry, teacher. I'm so sorry. I had an inconvenience because when I uh, click the return uh, okay, now. key, uh -huh. uh, the session was logged out. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, but I, I was like, I hello, <laughs> how are you, Lisa? And you were gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm fine. I'm fine. I hope okay. that you are doing well, too. Yes. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> yes, you can see it. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. Okay. Perfect, guys. So we are going to start with today's class. And, well, guys, today um, we are going to start with a review. Okay. We are going to have a review about the, the topic that we covered yesterday. Okay. If you remember, we covered used to, be used to, and getting used to. So today we're going to start with a review about it. And we also have um, different activities that we are going to try to cover it. Okay. So um, then we are going to start and we are going to move to the warm up. And for the warm up today, we have vocabulary. So um, Tony, help us reading, please. Okay. Yes. Descriptive English word. Yes. They describe or modify the qualities, characteristics, mm -hmm. attributes, or features of the subject. Okay. An example, very lucky. Fortunate. We are fortunate to have a good bus. Mm -hmm. I am fortunate, fortunate, fortunate to be part of such a wonderful company. Right. And another example, very good. Exceptional. It was an exceptional class. Phenomenal. I had a phenomenal interview. Thank you. Okay. Um, just pronunciation, Tony. In this case, this one is describe. Okay? Describe. Describe. And okay. this, describe. Yes. Characteristics. Characteristics. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So yes, guys. Um, in English, we have those words that are called descriptive. English words, yeah? So in order for us to avoid saying very lucky, very good, okay? We can use uh, different type of words and we call them descriptive words, yeah? It is not mandatory, but it, this one is for you to have more vocabulary. So instead of you saying very lucky, we can say fortunate. We are fortunate to have a good boss, or I am fortunate to be part of such a wonderful company. 
or I am fortunate to have this job, or we are fortunate to be able to study. Yeah? Instead of you saying, we are very lucky to have a good boss. We are very lucky to be part of such a wonderful company. I mean, we can say it is not incorrect, but we also have different words for you to avoid saying very, okay? Then we also have very good, which is something very common that we say, right? So very good. So we can substitute that very good with exceptional or phenomenal, yeah? Of course, in some situations. It was an exceptional class. It, I had, a phenomenal interview, yeah? It is exceptional in the new um, material, okay? It is phenomenal, the new um, book. Instead of you saying it is very good, right? Etc. So we can use descriptive words. We also have, Instead of you saying very thankful, muy agradecido, very thankful, or very pretty, we have grateful, which is the same. Very thankful is the same as grateful. So we are grateful for this opportunity. I am grateful for your help. Yeah, when you want to say, uh, que está bien agradecido por algo, you can say, I am grateful for your help. Yes, or I am very thankful for your help. But in order for you to avoid saying very thankful, we use grateful. Okay, then we also have very pretty. Instead of you saying, oh, she's very pretty or she's beautiful, right? We can say, she is gorgeous, Gor gorgeous, yeah? That is the same as saying very beautiful, very pretty, that very, yeah? We, we can avoid, we can avoid the very in some words, okay? And once again, it is not incorrect, but we can have more vocabulary, okay? Um, okay, very good. So now let's start with a short reading to introduce the topic that we covered yesterday so you can recall, yeah? Um, Aleida, can you please help us reading? Let me see if Aleida is there. Well, I can uh, maybe, no. Carlos Omar, can you please help us reading? Sorry, teacher. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Uh, can we read together um, half okay. and a half, teacher? Yes. So you, Aleida, from when and then till enough. And then Carlos. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you, teacher. When I was younger, I used to dream of going to Canada and visiting Niagara Falls. So I got the opportunity to travel to this beautiful country and live here. But the cold weather is too much for me. I try to drink hot chocolate in winter, but that is not enough. Carlos? My mom and, and dad bought me some new sweater so I can feel more comfortable. I can say I am used to sleeping. Long hour when the sweater when this when the weather is cold. My mom said, "I am a lazy person, but that's not true. She needs to understand that I am getting used to living in this cold country, surrounded by beautiful buildings and landscapes." Landscapes. landscapes. Now, Carlos, repeat after me and say sweaters. 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 Uh -huh. Now say comfortable. Comf comfortable. 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 
Yes, like that. Thank you. Okay, very good. So yes, guys, as you can see, we have highlighted the um the three type of phrases that we learned yesterday. Yeah. So today we are going to have the review about it. So we can use those phrases in this way. Okay. Now mm, we have studied the following. Okay. You can see the three like structures right here for us to be able to identify in a better way. So remember that we cover used to. So used to is in order for us to talk about past habits. Yes. Be used to for something normal or unusual. Yeah. And getting used to for something that is becoming familiar. In other words, past, present, future in the process, right? Yes. And we have the structures. Something very important is that most of the time, guys, those type of phrases are used in a positive uh, context, okay? We can use them in a negative context as well, but most of our ideas are in positive context, okay? So we have positive, negative, and questions. Maybe something that we need to highlight is that we need to remember that with used to, used to, in the negative and the question, we don't use the letter D, right? Because we have the auxiliaries. And the structure is that we have used to, and the verb goes in base form. So we have, I used to drink eight glasses of water. Used, right? Pronunciation. I didn't use to drink eight glasses of water. Or the question, did I used to drink eight glasses of water? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Past the structure. Subject used to verb in base form plus complement. Now, with be used to, as the name says, be used to, is that we are going to use the verb to be. So we have am, um, is, and are in the subject, plus used to. And then this changes, right? Because we have verb in ing. Mm -hmm. And something that we need to mention is that the letter D remains. It doesn't matter if it is positive, negative, or question. It stays with the structure. I am used to drinking eight glasses of water, ing. I am not used to drinking eight glasses of water. Am I used to drinking, oh, there is a mistake, drinking eight glasses of water? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yeah. And then we also have the last one, getting used to. Something is in the process of becoming familiar. Yeah. So we have positive, negative, and question. Yeah. So we have the subject, um, is, or are, getting used to, verb in ing plus complement. And we have, I am getting used to drinking eight glasses of water. I am not getting used to drinking eight glasses of water. Am I getting used to drinking eight glasses of water? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yeah. And as you can see, after used to, with getting used to, the verb goes in ing as well. ing. Yeah. So this one is about past 
habits, something normal in the present, something that is usual, right? If it is positive or unusual, if it is negative. Getting used to something that is becoming familiar, that is in the process. You are getting used to that action. Mm -hmm. So basically, I will say that we have three type of structures, okay? Those two, ing. This one, base form. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, let me ask you, do you have questions? Not right now about this? Okay, so if we don't have any question, we are going to take the quiz and the quiz that we are going to take is about the three of them. Yeah, so you will have 13 questions if I'm not mistaken, okay? 13 questions. In this case, um, you are going to have a mix, I mean, of all of those three, right? Pay attention to the structure, to the structure only. Yeah, to the structure, yes? Let's say the, the quiz then, okay? And let's see if, if um, we have more questions. All right, mm, this one is the link. And the passcode is grammar in capital letters, okay? Grammar. I'm going to leave my, um, the screen like that, okay? So you can probably have that as a support, okay? But try to read carefully, okay?
Okay. Yeah, I can I can see Aleida, Emerson, Jonathan, Kenya, Naomi, and Vladimir. Okay. Let's wait a little bit for the other ones. Can you see? Okay. Yes, I got most of you. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Do you have questions? I can see that some of you got 100, okay? Excellent. Well done. The other ones? Do you have doubts? I mean, I think that it is just a matter of practicing, right? You like um, probably getting used to the, to the structure with exams. Yeah, I think that, that is a matter of practicing only. Teacher, uh, I have a doubt. Yes. And uh, I don't know if you can see the exercise number four. Number four, yes, let me, let me, let me take Allison a look. used to. Yes. Okay, para darme a entender mejor, voy a hablar en español. Eh, como siempre nos dijo, ¿verdad? Que teníamos que ver bien las estructuras, ¿correcto? Uh -huh. Pero ahí veo que en la de used to, eh, según el ejemplo que, que está ahorita, eh, used to. Hay uno que no utiliza el T al final o los tres utilizan el T al final. Con Houston. 
Ajá, used to. Solamente. Ya, yeah, um, el único que usa y, eh, la letra D es el positivo. No, pero sin D. Ah, el negativo y pregunta. Ah, ok. Es que yo estaba con, confundido porque yo pensaba de que si utilizaba, si no utilizaban la, la D al final, el verbo iba a ser en. en... ING. No, sin ING. Ajá. No, sin ING. En base form. Pero uh -huh. si utilizábamos el, el D al final, íbamos a utilizar el ING. Por eso era que lo, lo categorizaba si tenía la D al final. Uh -huh. Lo categorizaba con ING. Creo que ahí es donde me había confundido. Ok. Sí. No, pero en ese caso, eh, siempre va a ser en su forma base, independientemente sea positivo, negativa o pregunta. Lo que cambia es la, la D únicamente. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Any other doubt? ¿Alguna sí, otra duda? In the number 13. 13. Uh, mm -hmm. Because I'm not used to, and I, and I uh, choose drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, <clears throat> okay, I, I did the, the, the quiz in base that I, the things that I remember that you, Okay. So, uh, but I didn't consult in any time the structure because I need to be very clear but in my mind. <laughs> yes. But in this case, I'm not used to why drinking is the correct. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Aleida, in this case, that is the answer because if you take a look at the structure, be used to whenever we are talking about something that is normal or familiar, right? In this case, we are going to use uh, be used to plus the ing. Then since the idea is that, right? And we don't have any other type of structure right there. We have used drink mm -hmm. or drinking. And mm -hmm. look at this, right? I am not used to drinking in this case. We don't have drink right here right mm, okay mm -hmm. it's because of the structure okay okay yes i got it thank you all right somebody else now okay yeah i think that it is just um something that you need to get used to right that's pretty much and then what we are going to do is that we are going to practice with this topic what I need to do is the following. We are going to create a short reading where you include used to, be used to, and getting used to as the example that we covered at the beginning. Yes? You can use the images below to get some ideas, right? Just to get some ideas. And on top of that, I would like you to include transition words, yeah, in your reading. Okay, the topic that we covered some time ago. Yeah. Yes, Tony, it's okay. Thank you. Then right now, what we are going to work on is this. Yeah, we are going to create a short reading. Maybe you were not here at the beginning of the class, some of you, but we cover it this short reading you see we have around six lines yes then we use used to getting used to and be used to uh -huh. and we also use transition words right you can use more than one transition word at least three or four you decide yeah but i want to see at least three sentences, one with used to, one with be used to, and one with getting used to. So I have added some images for you to have some ideas. If you don't want to use them, it's okay. All right, use your creativity, yeah? I'll give you around 10 minutes for you to finish with it. Yeah, if you cannot participate in the activity, uh, please stay here or let your classmates know that you cannot participate so they are aware. 
Yes. Um, let's move. Okay. Let's move. Let me create a. Um, okay. Hello. Hello, guys. How are you? Hello. Hello, teacher. How do you can feel you... today? What about your day? How was it? Uh, teacher, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. I thought that I I have a I had a my microphone uh, broken. Oh, why? Uh, I was talking to Atilio, but uh, I I thought that I he then hear me oh no but yes we can hear you yes uh, okay yes okay what about your day how was it difficult <laughs> it was difficult okay so that that like a little silence right like difficult okay yes i know uh well but the good thing is that today is wednesday right uh, the bad Maybe. thing is tomorrow is Thursday. No. <laughs> uh, 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 the thing is that I am part of quality control and mm. I don't get good relation with production. <laughs> of course, right? Because you are the quality, actually, department. Uh -huh. Well, Jose, that's part of life, right? <laughs> I would say that. So... <laughs> Yeah. Mm, do you work on uh weekends? Uh just the half of the Saturday. Okay. All right, half. Okay. Yeah, so well, but at least you have a Sunday off. Mm, yeah. Uh yes. Which helps you to relax, I think, right? Mm, Maybe I do different things that is not work. <laughs> yeah, it's not work related. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, well, uh, Maurice is here. Emerson is here. Atilio, are you there? Uh, yes. Here. Yes, yes, Atilio is there. Okay. All right, guys. Let's start with the with the with the short reading, okay? Okay. okay. Yes, guys. Okay. So, can you you can share the screen? I don't believe. Uh, I don't. Give me, I can't give me, believe. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna show you. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Thank you. Okay. Create a short reading for you to use to be used to getting used to. You can use hmm, the first much looks like Japan. Mm -hmm. This Japan. We can begin and say, when I trip uh, to Japan, I usually, I used to fly by plane. 
Let's see. I wrong. I used to visit Japan. Mm. Can you repeat it, Marcel? Used to trip by plane. Fly commercial. Fly plane in a commercial flight. Okay. Hmm? When we land? When we arrive. A motorcycle mm -hmm. around the Tokyo. I ran. Um, I used to rent a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. After we go to the palace to know the royal. Okay, I'm gonna write it in, in word. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, in holy days. Wayne uh, in a commercial flight. Yeah. I fly to Japan. I use visit the palace ah. I get it used to meeting with my friends we did Bernardo I had Used to meet with, with Bernardo. Uh huh. Or go to the artificial fires. To go to the In holidays, you want to see the the okay, the what the um, artificial fires for fireworks the, for the Sorry? fireworks to see the fireworks. Yes, I think it's fireworks. Okay. Fireworks. For the new years, maybe.
For the new year. Mm. In Japan, in Japan, they 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 use fireworks for every um. What is it most common situation? Uh, they usually if they go to the beach at night, they they use fireworks too for a birthday for a special um dates we can change and put the celebration for birthdays with Bernardo in Japan hmm. I wanna share um I wanna share the what I wrote. I go to Japan. I used to rent a motorcycle to visit the the best. Miss the letter. Oh, L. sorry. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. I get use after the that the period. It is getting up, getting used to. Or no. In this case, um, is the idea me estoy acostumbrando a o me acostumbré a. Mm -hmm. Which is the, like the idea? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First of all, we need to think about the idea, right? I mean, um, is it me acostumbré a encontrarme con Bernard Bernardo o me estoy acostumbrando a? Mm -hmm. The schedules. With the schedules, I think. Mm. Okay. We need to use transition words to teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. Because if not, I, I can see that you only have sentences, right? But yes. you need to also include transition words. Mm, on the let me see on the third one two three four five on this five uh sentence what it says i getting huh? used to i getting used to um in that case we need yes. to use um i am i am getting used to ing living In Japan, and my friend Bernardo is helping me with the schedules. 
Okay. Okay. Continue. And once you are done with the idea, add the transition words. I, después de, after after the schedule, we can use also we go to see fireworks. The last one, yeah. Here. Also, yes. Also, we go to see fireworks. Okay, another place to put transaction word. I used to visit Japan in holidays. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I will play. Después de Jap uh, after Japan to our, when I arrived to Japan. Um, first, mm -hmm. first I used to rent a motorcycle to visit the palace. I think I don't know. First, yes. Mm -hmm. To describe processes, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. First, I use the random motorcycle to be flawless. Um, I don't remember what I mean. Meet over, more over, algo así se escribía, no me recuerdo. More over means además. Además, okay. Ahí podemos poner esa palabra. Además, I am getting used to living in Japan and my friend Bernardo is helping me with the schedule also. Okay, he's helping me with the schedule also. We got to see the fire. And the third line picture, I don't know, we we can use comma after uh, schedule. Uh, ah, yes, comma. Yeah, after schedule. After schedule, before also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And here another. No, that one is not necessary. And... You know what you can do is that when it's where it says when I arrived to Japan. Mm -hmm. First, remove the comma that is after first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. I think after. I remember I see the picture about a hospital. And I used to eat in the street, but after fireworks. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So I used to eat we in the street, fireworks. and uh, we we used to. Teacher, you you have fact trucks, but when you you find a, a little place in the street that when they sell send perdón, sells food, ¿cómo se dice comida callejera o puestos de comida callejera? Street. A street uh, a street food. A street food. Yeah, mm, yeah, the street food. Let me just... it's pretty, it's pretty good, but I am not remember Anthony Bourdain saying one word in his program, but I can remember right now. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Sorry for the reference, but <laughs> it was a good TV show. Okay. Uh you know you can uh -huh. junk food. 
junk food. Yeah, but I mean, it could be a street food stall, or it, it could be also a street food stand. Like it is como un, como le decimos a esto. Sí, como, ajá, como un, ajá, como un carretón. Okay, I in this after that we I don't know clearly is a bad idea. Sorry. Clearly. So also we go to see the fireworks and we used to buy street food. Mm -hmm. Yes, clearly is a bad idea because we. Because I get sick. And we need to visit the hospital. And we need to visit the hospital. Okay, perfect. Okay. Is it okay? Or see. do I change? Mm, I need to hospital. But but also is a great place to live or visit. Visit. Mm -hmm. Do I use video or sorry? Yes, period, and then you start with the capital letter. It's also but, no, but but also without is is a great place to live or visit. Uh -huh. mm. We just need to what? Um, if you want, highlight the ones that you have already with the the structure, so you can see the ones that you have, right? You have used to, we have one, two, used to, we have many, used to. Too many teachers are in use. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. The only thing is that um, you are missing one. You are missing the one that is be, uh, used. be used to. Be used to. Be used to. Be used to. Because you have get, uh, getting used to, used to, but I don't see be used to. And the strip be used to is when I don't, um, when I, uh, cuando no me acostumbro. I, I forgot. Uh, be, be used we, to we... means, puede significar estoy acostumbrado a o no estoy acostumbrado a. Okay. okay, in a street food stand, we can use that, that. Here, clearly, it's a bad idea because I am not used to it at ING. Eating. Of uh, uh, kind, kind of foot, yeah. Monkey and so, mm -hmm. <laughs> I get sick. I think we, after because we need a common teacher. I after that. because where is it? No, you don't need a coma. Okay. Uh, yeah, Bernardo, nor after so, just before so. Ahí no va, no, ajá, eso no va en, en coma. Okay. 
Así. So, I can see. I used to be on holidays. In commercial flight. Um, also, we got to see the fireworks in the beach. Okay, yes. So, sorry? You can say... Um, also, we, we got to see the fireworks on the beach. On the beach. Uh -huh. Also, we got to see... The, the fire... fireworks on the beach. At... On the beach or at the beach, both are okay. Okay. Uh, okay, but here we have um something that we need to fix. Porque si se fija, usted está su su um su historia va en presente en ese momento, pero aquí ya hay un stop y volvemos al pasado. Because está diciendo, eh, and also we go to see the fireworks at the beach. And we used to buy. Mm -hmm. Also, we went. No, in this case, tenemos que hacerla al presente porque la historia ya pasó al presente. Entonces, aquí okay. podemos poner. And we are used to buying a street food. Okay. Uh -huh. Porque, o sea, es como un mix de presente, pasado, pero las ideas se pierden. We are used to buying a street food. Y ahí dice, clearly it's a bad idea because I am not used to eating that kind of food. So, I get sick. Uh -huh. And he takes me. to the hospital, but also is It's okay. a very romantic story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> eh, ¿Qué le corrige ahí? Put el espacio. Okay. Mm, okay. Period. Okay, ahora léala y veamos si está bien. Hey, I used to visit Japan in holidays. I used to travel by plane in a commercial flight. When I arrived to Japan, first I used to rent a motorcycle to visit the palace. Moreover, I am getting used to living in Japan and my friend Bernard, Bernardo is helping me with the schedules. Also, we go to see the fireworks at the beach and we are used to buy in street food stand. Clearly, it's a bad idea because I am not used to eating uh, that kind of food. So I get sick and he takes me to the hospital. But also it's a great place to live or visit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it good? I don't know also, for your reaction, teacher. I don't know. But also, yeah, uh, teacher, <laughs> here, here. Uh, okay doesn't we i have to add it it is a good place correct you are missing the subject it is a great, it is a great place. place to live or visit yes very good uh -huh. okay we need to to the space como sería adornar we need to to Ponerle fotos y todo eso. You need to probably, add a picture. Yes, it's better yeah, right, with a picture. Probably Sonny is, is right now making a good presentation. We need to, <laughs> to win this. You need, yes, you need to decorate. Yes. Mm -hmm. But decorate. No, but I think that, ton, that Tony is busy. I think that Tony is busy right now. Because, okay. Yeah, I think that he didn't join the, the team. The one that I assigned, he didn't join. So I think that he's busy, right? So don't he, worry. He, uh -huh. he wrote at the chat, the WhatsApp chat. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, I, I haven't seen it. Okay, I'm going to check it in a minute. 
Okay, if you want, you can add some images, right? Or something. Uh -huh. Oh, we have okay. Two minutes, then, <laughs> then we are going to go back. Yes. Take two photo and put here, Bernard. Sorry? Smile. Take two photo and put here. Ah, okay. Uh, do you want to I send the image to the group? Let's see. <laughs> Tony's eye. He feels that long. Only copy page the the image in in, in the um, link. Take the a screen, a page, maybe. The <laughs> link. Hi. Yes, I think that he couldn't, but I think that he's ready. Tony, are you there? Yes. yes I'm ready. Okay, perfect. Tony, but you know what? We finished with the activity right now, oh, Tony. Sorry. <laughs> but, but no, don't a worry, okay. No, yes, don't worry, okay? Yes. Um. Okay, guys, are you ready? Uh, yes, uh, yes, please. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. give me a, a minute, just for Tony to watch the oh, okay okay Tony yeah you you can take a look at what they created okay okay yes this is a romantic story Japan no one's occupants in the place forever oh in a motorcycle like it I can get it used to living in Japan and my friend Bernard is helping me with the schedule also we go to see the firewood uh, the beach and we are used to buying street food stand very it's a bad idea because i'm not used to eating that kind of food so i get sick and then <laughs> to the hospital but also this is a great place to live or visit okay uh, the firewood is for what for what celebration <laughs> in japan they, they celebrate everything if oh, they go yeah. to the beach, they they, <laughs> they, they, yeah. they turn on fireworks. Okay, okay. okay. They Bernardo. use they win, they Bernardo. use fireworks. Okay. Ber Bernardo. Soma Soma was uh, in his birthday and we we just <laughs> aprovechamos his uh, we, okay. <laughs> we, we took advantage. Okay. Okay. Bernard Bernardo buy the, the fireworks. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So you are you're ready, right? I think. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Let's go. Nada bueno. Nada bueno. Hello, Raul. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I am driving. Okay. <laughs> I, I was going out from my job. Okay. All right. Um. Thank you. All right. So let me see if we have all of you. Um, okay. Okay. All right. So let's see. I'm going to take the uh, the attendance. Okay. I'm going to take the attendance, guys, right now. Um. Give me one second. Okay. Aleida Esmeralda. Let me see. Here. Hello, Aleida. 
<laughs> no, she probably is not here. Okay. Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares. I'm here, here teacher. teacher. Present. Okay, thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Vladimir. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González Domínguez. Present miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Eh, Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Okay, thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Elaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Um, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Thank you, Maurice. Okay. Um, Nelly Lilipez Andrade. Present. Thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. Roberto Esaú Celaya Argumedo. Roberto. Eh, Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Me dice que está en el trabajo, en el chat. Eh, let me see. No, no y yeah, es Sandra. Ok, um, thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Thank you. Let me see. Um, okay. Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Thank you. Wilbert Jonathan Bautista Aguilar. Okay. All right, guys. I want you to present your short paragraphs. Okay, Jose, can you please share your paragraph? Okay, teacher. Yeah. Tony. Okay. Tony. Do you want to read? Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I used to visit Japan in holidays. I used to travel to by plane in a commercial flight. When I arrived to Japan, first used to rent a motorcycle to visit the palace. Moreover, mm. I'm negating used to living in Japan. And my friend Bernard is helping me with his schedules. Also, we go to see the fireworks at the beach and we are used to buying street food stand. Clearly, it's a bad idea because I'm not used to eating that kind of food. So I get sick and it takes me to the hospital. But also, it's a great place to live or visit. Okay, very good. Okay, use, um, remember, okay, use, use. Use, use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. use. Okay, so let me see the other team um, from Aleida, Carlos Omar, Daisy, George, and Pablo. Mm -hmm. Pablo, can you share, please, your screen? Okay.
and when I was child, I used to travel to the castle of my uncle, the king. Mm -hmm. I used to brothers motorcycle whenever I came to the castle. I used to find the garden. And the king used to bring light to the square on weekend so that all the enjoy. Okay. <laughs> Just no to find the king walking through the garden. Mm -hmm. And the king used to break the line, the line to the square and on weekends so that all the people of the place could enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. we, used to, we used to spend a lot of time playing with uh, all the kids and that pass, pass by. I used to play football until my parents came for me. I got used to calling my uncle ask when I can visit. I think okay. that um when I was a child, yes, uh, maybe just punctuation, okay? When us when I was a child, coma. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you. All right. Let's continue and let's talk about a different topic, okay? All right, guys. So we're going to start about multiple intelligences, yeah? So um, let me see, Emerson? Yes, miss. Okay, can you please read the paragraph? Okay. Power multiple people. intelligence. Power Garden can came up came up with the theory of the multiple intelligence in 1983 Garden's theory includes totally kinest kinestic kinesthetic kinesthetic bodily movement and physical psychology interpersonal Interaction with the others, verbally language, linguistic, words spoke or writing, logical, mathematical, logic abstraction, ray, reasoning, reasoning, okay. and numbers. Okay. Interpersonal, introspective, and self-reflective capacities, visual, spatial, vision, and Spatial adjustment, musical, rhythm, music, and the uh, hearing. And naturalistic, nature, and related information to the one's natural surrounding. Surroundings. Okay, guys. Um, what do you think about about multiple intelligences? Do you know about that topic? Multiple intelligences? No. No? no. Maybe with, um, with another acronym? Could be. Okay. So basically, guys, um, in psychology, okay, this is about, uh, well, it is something really interesting, okay? Uh, basically, the theory says, right, that we have multiple intelligence. So basically, what that uh, what that uh, means is that there are different things uh, which you can be good at. Yeah. So sometimes you can be good at uh, mathematics, or probably you can be good at just uh, music, right? I mean, we all have the, um, let's, let's move, okay? And you will see. So we have basically three, six, nine, yes? 
So we have nine intelligences that we can develop. Through our life, we develop some of them more than the other ones. And here is where you say, okay, so I know myself, right? With the multiple intelligences. So one of them is the linguistic intelligence. The other one is the naturalistic intelligence. The logical mathematical intelligence. Yeah, sometimes this intelligence is the one that engineers, yes, the ones that work in the accounting department, they do have this intelligence. We also have interpersonal intelligence. Mm -hmm. So we have visual spatial intelligence. Yeah, so interpersonal intelligence is basically that you are able to understand that you are able to communicate that you are able to feel empathy with others some people do not have this intelligence some others they do have it yeah we have visual spatial intelligence this one is the one that most of the architects have developed musical intelligence is the ones uh is the one that we can see that singers have the musical intelligence, right? Singers and, and persons who play an instrument, a musical oh. instrument. Musical think. instruments, all of music things, right? Bodily kinesthetic intelligence. There are many people that actually have this type of intelligence and this one is an intelligence, guys, okay? We also have intrapersonal intelligence. This one is one of the hardest sometimes to develop for some people to know yourself, to say, yes, I am like that, to accept what you are, right? Intrapersonal. And this one is one type of intelligence that we have. And we also have the ex uh, existential intelligence, which is um, that you ask, why are we here? Why do human exist, right? You are able to answer those type of questions. Yes. In this case, we have nine type of intelligences. Yeah. And you need to know which one is the one that you have developed the most through all those years. Uh -huh. Yeah. What do you think? Which intelligence do you have or which intelligences do you have? I think I have linguistic intelligence, teacher, because mm -hmm. for me, it's very easy to communicate with others and learn new languages. Mm, I think that is my uh, main intelligence. And maybe um, interpersonal intelligence, mm -hmm. um, naturalistic intelligence, I think I have. Uh, and let me check what all. Um, interpersonal, no, existential intelligence. Okay. <laughs> because. Yes. Um, um, in other words, all the intelligence. <laughs> No, 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 because I think I don't have the visual and a spatial, a spatial, spatial. Uh, intelligence, special. Okay. That one is yes. very difficult sometimes to get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And musical intelligence, no, because sometimes I, I have a friend and she play, she can play many, many instru musical instruments. Uh -huh. He can play the piano, the guitar, uh, the many. He is a teacher, a music uh -huh. teacher. And, and he's, he's another kind of intelligence. It's very, very interesting, but it's another kind of intelligence. Yeah, yeah. that is true. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. Yeah. And we, I, huh? mm -hmm. Yes. And Continue. at the end, maybe logical, mathematical intelligence, because I have to use the, 
the numbers and the logical because I work with in accounting department. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is That's correct. Right. Mm -hmm. That is correct. So, I mean, we develop different intelligences through all our life, right? That's why it's very important to know about this topic whenever you are a dad, a mom, so you can guide your children. Uh -huh. Because all of we, um, we have different uh, type of intelligences. We are not the same, right? Uh -huh. Very good. Uh -huh. Somebody else? I think we have the a puzzle or a little piece of cake for the different uh, intelligence because mm -hmm. uh, for Tony, for example, it's a linguistic, linguistic intelligence. Uh, no, no, only for me, my is my boss. Okay, but uh, I think you get the point. I, you get the point. In in my, <laughs> in my in my case, I I probably say I I I have the the logic and mathematical intelligence, but when I find somebody that develop the the intelligence more more of me than me, that I me. think I I don't have that type. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I that type, but <laughs> I am very good to interpersonal intelligence. But it's my job. I try to to talk with the people all days. Mm -hmm. Hours and but I I I work with numbers, but it's not it's not my intelligence. I think it's not the one that predominates, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's Someone just, else. Uh -huh. um, mm, to add in the the point of view of. Luis Miguel, I yeah. think that uh, all the people have um, four, five, the nine type of, of intelligence that yeah. uh, one, two, or three uh, of this is more um, developed, developed, or, or graded, or, or more. Uh, um, accurate by 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 every person um for me an example i think that i have a logical mathematical intelligence and intrapersonal intelligence mm -hmm. but when i uh, was a young i developed more the naturalistic intelligence because i live in in the in in the farms and in the in the countryside, in the out of the of the, the of, city. of the of the city, mm -hmm. and we need to develop more of this type of intelligence. Mm -hmm. But in the time you lose them, uh, or, or because you don't use all the time, you grow up to um, uh, perform as another type of intelligence. Um, if all of, of these types of, of kind of intelligence is described by the psychologists is because all the person have yes. in better grade or, or less grade, that type of intelligence. Correct. Yes. And that is correct. Uh -huh. I have, I have an a example. Yes. When I was a teenager, mm -hmm. uh, I was an athlete of uh, the row in Salvador, okay. but I had one... Um, Com eh, compañero, ¿cómo sería? Mm, maybe one mate, partner. Yes, my one mate partner, Carlos. He'll still, he is still, he uh, still the atlas. He he told me one time, one one. Sorry, I I asked I uh, I asked a question for for to, to him for, for to him for the pain for we when we practice the the, the sport. Mm -hmm. it tell me I block the pain in my mind, but it, the, the, the cautious, yeah, mm -hmm. they make a test, a medical test for, este, for, um, ¿cómo sería para medir el ácido? 
¿cómo se llama? El ácido en los músculos, el que provoca el dolor, se me olvida. Láctico. Ajá. Eh, when, we, to check the acid lactic. Las, when we to practice the rowing, we have a, a lot of acid, but that mm -hmm. guy tell me he blocked the pain in his mind in the, te the, in the test, the coach do, the, the acid lactic is very, very low. My God. Okay, but for me, he controls his body. Is a uh, intelligence. Yes. ¿Cómo yeah. sería? Kinestic intelligence. Kinesthetic. Yeah. Kinesthetic. Bodily kinesthetic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. He is still he is still in the Roman Sabbath. Imagine. So is as part of the, the 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 national team. Mm -hmm. okay. He represents us in Europe. That's cool. That's nice. Okay. Somebody else that wants to share. Uh -huh. Well, I think that this, um, you know, this is very important for you to, to read, right? Those type of things are kind of interesting and you can go ahead and search for more information in English, of course, right? Uh -huh. And you start like learning. Uh -huh. yeah, I can see the emotional intelligence in the, in the machine. Oh, the emotional intelligence in this case, uh, it is related to intrapersonal and interpersonal, both. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The emotional intelligence, which is very important nowadays, right? That is crucial. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, um, let's move and let's take the first listening quiz. Yeah. Let me just... And get the link. Okay, so we are going to take the listening 31. Okay, listening quiz 31. And this, yes. Okay, yes. Okay, there you go. And the passcode is listening, okay? So let me see. Okay, let me know once you are ready so I can play this recording. Yeah. And it's Aubrey again. Okay, your Paul. <laughs> wait, 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 wait me a moment, teacher, because I have to. Uh... Oh, yes, okay. Okay, it's the listening is listening is the passport, teacher. Okay. Listening, yes. Listening in capital letters, correct. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let me know. I'm ready. Yeah. No, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. In this video, Aubrey, let's talk about great excuses and terrible excuses that you could give a teacher for not doing your homework. What would they be? Yeah, like I was a student until recently. So I've definitely, you know, had my share of excuses, right? You know, you've got terrible excuses, like where you tell them that you were sick and then on social media, you posted that you were at a party, which is just <laughs> silly because it's easy to find out that that's what happened. There's the old, my dog ate my homework excuse, which, my dog ate my homework one time and I brought in what I was able to salvage of my homework and the teacher thought it was hilarious because <laughs> the dog ate the right half of my homework and I taped the left half together and was like, 
this is all I have. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you were able to salvage at least part of it. At least part of it. You can't see any of the answers on the worksheet because you only get a few of the words, but yes. <laughs> and what about good excuses? You have a particular excuse you give to the teacher and you're hoping they will understand your particular circumstances. Yeah, so I mean, good ones would be like, you know, you got in a car accident, you had, you know, some kind of personal crisis. Um, maybe you had, you end up having to get called into work. Um, you know, it really depends on the circumstances. Well, good. Well, thank you for sharing that. I think those are good things to keep in mind. Okay, again, okay, the second time. In this video, Aubrey, let's talk about great excuses and terrible excuses that you could give a teacher for not doing your homework. What would they be? Yeah, like I was a student until recently. So I've definitely, you know, had my share of excuses, right? You know, you've got terrible excuses, like where you tell them that you were sick and then on social media, you posted that you were at a party, which is just <laughs> silly because it's easy to find out that that's what happened. There's the old, my dog ate my homework excuse, which my dog ate my homework one time. And I brought in what I was able to salvage of my homework and the teacher thought it was hilarious because <laughs> the dog ate the right half of my homework. And I taped the left half together and was like, this is all I have, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you were able to salvage at least part of it. At least part of it. You can't see any of the answers on the worksheet because you only get a few of the words, but yes. <laughs> and what about good excuses? You have a particular excuse you give to the teacher and you're hoping they will understand your particular circumstances. Yeah, so I mean, good ones would be like, you know, you got in a car accident, you had, you know, some kind of personal crisis. Um, maybe you had, you end up having to get called into work. Um, you know, it really depends on the circumstances. Well, good. Well, thank you for sharing that. I think those are good things to keep in mind. Okay, ready? Teacher, what does it mean unavoidable? Unavoidable? Uh -huh. um, I would say that you cannot avoid it. Inevitable. Okay, okay, okay. I'm dumb, teacher. <laughs> in the number four <laughs> it was not complete oh good let me see because i have 3.8 for from four <laughs> mm, okay i didn't choose the whole um as well okay mm -hmm. that is correct Okay. I can see that some of you, well, most of you got 100. Okay, perfect. Okay, excellent. I'm seeing. Very good. Okay, let's take the second one. Okay. There you go. And the passcode uh, yeah. is listening. Okay. Let me see. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to play it three times, okay? Three times. So here we go. Dad? Yeah? I need a few supplies for school, and I was wondering if... Yeah, there are a couple of pencils and an eraser in the kitchen drawer, I think. Dad, I'm in eighth grade now, oh. and I need real supplies for my demanding classes. Oh, so you need a ruler too? Dad, <laughs> I need some high-tech stuff, Ooh. like a calculator... Mm -hmm. And a laptop computer. 
Uh, I didn't have any of that when I was in middle school, and I did just fine. Yeah, and there weren't any cars either, were there? <laughs> oh. And things are just more progressive now. Well, we can rule out the computer unless Mom lets you sell the car. And as for that adding machine... Calculator. Oh, yeah. I think mine from college is kicking around here somewhere. Dad, I need a calculator for geometry. And I have heard you can download free software from the Internet. Great. My daughter will be playing video games in geometry class. Dad... Okay, how much is this going to cost me? Well, I saw it at the store for only $99. Ooh, ooh. Or you could buy it online. Oh, do they throw in a few aspirins so your father can recover from sticker shock? Dad, please. Everyone has one. I've heard that one before. And you've always said you wanted me to excel in school. Mm. And I'll chip in $10 of my own. Mm. And I'll even clean up my room. Hey, a mm. hundred bucks. Well... You'll be supporting me in my old age, so I guess... When do you need it? Now. Right now. now. Right Mom now. Mom is already waiting in the car for us. She said she would buy me an ice cream if I could talk you into buying it for me today. Oh, no. I can't believe this. Oh, yeah. man. Okay. Again. Dad? Yeah. I need a few supplies for school, and I was wondering if... Yeah, there are a couple of pencils and an eraser in the kitchen drawer, I think. Dad. I'm in eighth grade now, oh. and I need real supplies for my demanding classes. Oh, so you need a ruler too? Dad, <laughs> I need some high-tech stuff, Ooh. like a calculator mm -hmm. and a laptop computer. Uh, I didn't have any of that when I was in middle school, and I did just fine. Yeah, and there weren't any cars either, were there? <laughs> oh. And things are just more progressive now. Well, we can rule out the computer unless Mom lets you sell the car. And as for that adding machine... Calculator. Oh, yeah. I think mine from college is kicking around here somewhere. Dad, I need a calculator for geometry. And I have heard you can download free software from the Internet. Great. My daughter will be playing video games in geometry class. Dad... Okay, how much is this going to cost me? Well, I saw it at the store for only $99. Ooh, ooh. Or you could buy it online. Oh, do they throw in a few aspirins so your father can recover from sticker shock? Dad, please. Everyone has one. I've heard that one before. And you've always said you wanted me to excel in school. Mm. And I'll chip in $10 of my own. Mm. And I'll even clean up my room. Hey, a mm. hundred bucks. Well... You'll be supporting me in my old age, so I guess... When do you need it? Now. Right now. now. Right Mom now. is already waiting in the car for us. She said she would buy me an ice cream if I could talk you into buying it for me today. Oh, no. I can't believe this. Oh, yeah. man. Okay. So, the last time. Okay, the last... Dad? Yeah. I need a few supplies for school, and I was wondering if... Yeah, there are a couple of pencils and an eraser in the kitchen drawer, I think. Dad, I'm in eighth grade now, oh. and I need real supplies for my demanding classes. Oh, so you need a ruler too? Dad, <laughs> I need some high-tech stuff, Ooh. like a calculator mm -hmm. and a laptop computer. Uh, I didn't have any of that when I was in middle school, and I did just fine. Yeah, and there weren't any cars either, were there? <laughs> oh. And things are just more progressive now. Well, we can rule out the computer unless Mom lets you sell the car. And as for that adding machine... Calculator. Oh, yeah. I think mine from college is kicking around here somewhere. Dad, I need a calculator for geometry. And I have heard you can download free software from the Internet. Great. My daughter will be playing video games in geometry class. Dad. Okay. How much is this going to cost me? Well, I saw it at the store for only $99. Ooh, ooh. Or you could buy it online. Oh, do they throw in a few aspirins so your father can recover from sticker shock? Dad, please. Everyone has one. I've heard that one before. And you've always said you wanted me to excel in school. Mm. And I'll chip in $10 of my own. Mm. And I'll even clean up my room. Hey, a mm. hundred bucks. Well, you'll be supporting me in my old age, so I guess... When do you need it? Now, right now. now. Right Mom now. is already waiting in the car for us. She said she would buy me an ice cream if I could talk you into buying it for me today. Oh, no, I can't believe this. Oh, yeah. man. Okay. Let me see. Okay, guys. Um, well, 
Okay, so we are going to practice for around 10 minutes. Okay, guys, speaking right now, please open your class. And we are going to start with the questions that we have right there. Okay, we are going to start by talking about intelligence. Then you are going to move and we are going to talk about um, different things about your profession, right? And we are going to finish with English, okay? So I'm going to assign you to different breakout rooms. If you cannot join, you can stay here, okay? Somebody can share the screen. Okay. No, let me do stop. Please. Slices. Are people more intelligent or does the environment make make it then intelligence? Hmm. I think the the person don't born in in a specific intelligence. They are um, developed during the, your life. I think the people are born with special abilities or <laughs> skills. And, and when when a study or, or in in the experience in the life, uh, they they develop other abilities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think everybody is intelligent. Mm -hmm. uh, if we think and something that Albert Einstein said that we only use, I don't remember the percent of our brain that we use is... Um, uh, sorry? 184. Don't know, I, I don't remember how much is the percent that mm -hmm. Albert Einstein said that we used our brain, but it's... Uh, the 10. No percent. 10 percent. 10 percent. Oh, yeah, imagine that. So that means that we have uh, the intelligence uh, to develop everything that we want. But the thing is, sometimes uh, we we don't work to uh, improve mm -hmm. uh, that abilities or that intelligence because um, maybe we are afraid to, to uh, try something new or maybe we have doubts about that we are not um capacity teacher i'm sorry um um uh, capables oh yeah capables uh, to in that area i think mm -hmm. yeah you're right i think that um sometimes we do not work on those abilities right maybe we all have different abilities but we do not polish those abilities why mm, for many reasons right May maybe sometimes we just don't want to do it mm -hmm. but yes okay i think too the sometimes people they develop the abilities they did did not have Yes. 
you can do it. And then uh, we also have the second question, right? So do you think there is any way to increase your intelligence? What can you do to increase your intelligence? What do you think? I think well, um, we have to practice something to to get that or, or reach that uh, goal because <laughs> Yeah, because I think maybe I'm not good. For for example, so I think that I am good to learn other uh, languages, but there are some languages that maybe are not um, attractive for me. For example, uh, uh, maybe um, French because I don't I don't like the as the ac accent yes. for that that for that language. Yes, but I know that. If I try to learn it, maybe I I could learn I could learn it very easy. But if I don't try, if I don't practice to do it better, um, I maybe I I never will not if I am good in that or not. And that is the same case for mm -hmm. others uh, areas or already kind of intelligence. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that sometimes it is a matter of you also feeling comfortable, right? Uh -huh. With with something that you would like to learn. I mean, you you have said something really um true, right? Because if you don't like something, you won't develop, but you haven't tried either, right? So um, yes, I mean sometimes we need to try, but I mean if you are like thinking about that i don't like this i don't i don't like that so even though you are studying and studying and study you won't develop that intelligence right mm -hmm. yes that is true what about the other ones? For, for, for example in my case i'm sorry but i will expose you my case yes. because because i don't like it the the gym I okay. don't know why, because I, I always say, uh, I am not good in that to make uh, exercises because I don't I don't like it, their routines. Mm -hmm. Because for me, it's very hard to uh, be in a routine because I think it is something bored. Mm -hmm. and, and a friend is still tell me, uh, please try. Maybe you are good or you like it, but you don't know because you never do it. Uh, and I try. <laughs> and then <laughs> I love to go to the gym and, and do my uh, my routines um, mm -hmm. with weight, weight, yeah, weight routine. Yes, mm -hmm. Con pesas and all that. And I really love it. And do you still go? No, because I had I I went three uh, years or oh, every day. Yeah. Only I only take the rest on Sundays, but for every day I had my routine. I had cardio. I <laughs> wore my uh, my back. I wore my legs. I wore my stomach. I did every routine during all the mm -hmm. days, but for three day for three years. But after that. I had an inconvenience in my uh, with my work schedules, mm -hmm. and I couldn't continue. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. And did you notice the changes in your body? Yes. Yes, I noticed. Mm, yes. But now I cannot tell you that I am, uh, the like, the same. Uh, yeah. Because now, I, I lost my diet because I didn't eat. It, um, desserts. I didn't eat a uh, carbohydratos. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was my diet. Okay. And now, and now you now I, change it. Yes. And now I always I I am sitting every day, all the whole day. It's very hard for me because if if you um if you have that routine to always 
uh, you are uh, making something uh, for exercise and then you don't do any any exercise mm -hmm. <laughs> because my routine uh, was changed for complete in mm -hmm. this case because I, I am sitting all the day and then um, I, I sitting in the car and I come to the house and I am uh, doing uh, the house work and they am I'm sitting again to the classes so it's very difficult yeah mm -hmm. it is very different right yeah mm -hmm. now carbohydrates 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 yes okay. yeah okay. Okay. okay all right yes I mean I understand I mean it's not the same right it's mm -hmm. very different okay mm -hmm. all right continue guys In what way do you think intelligence is related to academ academy success? Success. Mm -hmm. To academic success, yeah. What do you think? Mm -hmm. How is I intelligence think, related? Uh -huh. I think it's the each academy requires the different uh, abilities and skills. Mm -hmm. In in that case, it depends on the person mm -hmm. which choice the correct. Okay. I think it's the the each intelligence can be suited. Mm -hmm. I think that because they have ability that are different from other people. Mm -hmm. That is why they suited. Okay. I think it, it depends of the career uh, mm -hmm. of, of the every person uh, because if I have good in mathematics and physical, uh, I don't know, take a career of, for example, a psychologist. Correct. Uh, uh, if I have good in, in the arts, Example: mm -hmm. Sing a uh, pain. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't take a, a career of mathematics. Of mathematics, mathematics. Yes. Mathematics. Mm, could be. But imagine. Um. In this case, uh, I think that. Let me see. Yes, on the on the number four, it says, what do you think makes people choose one profession over another, vocation, academic results, family influence, market needs, right? So in this case, um, sometimes, I don't know if you have noticed, guys, but people say, okay, I'm going to start the university and I'm going to study marketing. But then one year later, they said, I don't like it. And they yes, change. It's, it's correct. They change, change or change, sometimes change the, the career and lost time. And sometimes it's a complete career, right? Like in the university, it's a complete degree. And you say on the fifth year, I don't like what I studied. That happens yes. a lot. A lot. But it's because of that, guys. It's because we don't know what type of things we like. It's because we don't have sometimes, and, and it is obvious, right, that we are young, yeah? Or we were young at that moment, right? And we probably don't know what to study. And, and students are like, I don't know what to study. At. I don't have an idea, right? And then they change because they didn't decide correctly. 
but they because they didn't inform themselves. And it's because this is not taught, right, in schools. It's very difficult, teacher, because I don't know what I am doing uh, working as in in uh, accounting department. I don't <laughs> like numbers. I all I I used to dream to be a a, a person working in tourism. Tourism. Imagine, Alena, in tourism, yeah. and now you're working in with numbers. <laughs> yes, it's completely different. <laughs> yeah. It is really yes <laughs> and and do you still want to move like i mean if you had the opportunity would you move it it's very difficult uh, uh, around what six years ago i worked with um uh operadora de turismo or a tourist with company a or a travel agency uh -huh. okay with the travel agency yeah and and I really love it. I attend uh, groups uh, from another uh, companies like Toyota and Idea, and we went uh, for a camping for three or four days. Mm -hmm. And it was very uh, interesting because I love to work in that, even the information about the, um, the, uh, the bosques. I, I don't remember what, what you said. Forest. Yeah, the forest, the volcanoes, and something like that. I love to do that. Yeah, but um, it's hard now. To nowadays, it's hard for me because I I already working in accounting, and um, it's not easy to change because yes. yeah, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> it is not easy to change. Then there there are involved many factors, right? Yes. Yes, of course. In, in, in this country, uh, market need are fair to work in their profession as, okay. as teacher only. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it could be right. But okay, guys, just because of the time, let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, teacher, I had another call. Oh, my God, Tony. Uh, okay. I never stop. Yes, okay, so I can see that you're really busy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I imagine, right? But okay, well, um, in this case, just let's wait uh, for some seconds, right? So the other ones can join. And let me see. Many, many, many hot. Many hot and many busy. <laughs> <laughs> very busy. Yes, okay, it is very hot, okay? So uh, we are waiting for Jonathan, George, Jose, and Luis Miguel. Okay. Well, guys, in this case, uh, just a, a reminder, okay? The ones that have not completed the platform, please try to complete it today or tomorrow, okay? Don't forget, please, okay? The platform, the platform, okay, guys. Okay, Thank we you. We will work on that. Yes, all right. Thank you so much. All right, guys, just because Welcome. of the time, thank you very much for joining today and your responsibility. I'll see you back tomorrow and I hope you rest. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Wendy. Good night. Teacher. Yes. I I need advice. Okay. Um so I I try to speak, to speak, but the last week I, como me estoy trabando demasiado. I'm stumbling a lot. Yeah. I think because we learned a lot of grammar, mm -hmm. uh, new new words, and for me, it's difficult make the the words make sense. Mm -hmm. I okay. don't know why. I I don't know why. So um, if you ask me before, I try to speak a uh, a lot, but in the last week, I my yes. mind is mm -hmm. is. 
I don't know no, what yeah. happened to me. Okay. So, um, okay. Well, Luis, in this case, my recommendation is the following. Um, it could be that, yeah, you feel like a stock, right? Like you are not like probably, um, you are not creating good ideas, right? In your brain. But let me tell you something. That may happen. But what you need to do is this. You need to start talking to yourself. Do you do it? Yeah, sometimes um, uh, I try to to repeat the sound when I I listen music in English. I try to 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 repeat the sound in in my mind, but mm -hmm. but but are you talking to yourself and using daily vocabulary? I mean, like for example, right now that we are going to finish with the class, right? So you go to the bed and you start like, okay, so what did I do today? Okay, so first I woke up, then I went to the office, I prepared some reports, or I talked to some clients. Do you do that? In English, no, but mm -hmm. you make sense. Make sense. Yes. So, Luis, in that case, at this point, you need to speak to yourself in English like that because you are intermediate. And if we stop like just with the class, right, or the topics that we cover right here, I mean, you are going to learn, but you need to use the language that you already know, because if not, you are going to forget and you are going to feel like that. So my recommendation is that you start speaking to yourself right now, try to do it. Once we finish, go to your bed, right? And in your mind, or you can do it out loud if you feel comfortable, right? So do it and start like describing what you did today and describe what plans you have for tomorrow because I'm pretty sure that you already have your agenda here. So you yes. start like talking about the things that you are going to do tomorrow and you will see that once you want to speak in English, the words and the ideas are going to like come natural, right? Because you are you are getting used to the language, like in a real context, in the real world. And that's okay. what you need, right? To start okay. getting in contact with the language, but in, in the real world. And okay. I will I will mm. recommend that. Let's see if that works. Right. Try to do it and let's see if that works. And whenever you have something, I mean, when you uh, wake up, when you have lunch, when you are having your dinner, try to speak to yourself. If you're alone, try to like speak to yourself in English because that's what you need. Uh -huh. OK, my 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 brother live live in the United States all the time. He taught he called me. He speak English with me, but today the he say me what what is wrong with you i i don't understand what what <laughs> what, what you say right? <laughs> come on luis that is yes. not possible okay you are getting english classes so that is not possible yeah so, mm -hmm. it's the, the the last two weeks i don't know why but it's happened but uh, why i mean there is there might be or maybe something right that that blocked you at, at some point yeah um the structures i i try okay. to 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 respect the structure but i can sometimes because when i try to speak i in my mind is 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 rolling the the the, the structure <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that it could be that, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I understand that. But in this case, okay. But in this case, Luis, try to separate. Okay, once we're like covering the structures, grammar, okay, and then once you're speaking, try to do it the way that you are able to do it. I mean, do not think about okay so here i need to use two here i need to use this no because if not that will that will happen right what, what is happening right now that you feel like i need to respect the structure i mean that is good that is good but you are blocking yourself and you you feel that right so yeah mm -hmm. i feel that because when we we do the the quiz in to listen in quiz 
I understand. Uh, I think I understand a lot. Always I have uh, one, 100%, but for, for, for a speak, I don't know what happened to me. I need to, to practice something. I need to, to find a way to, 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 to a strong my speaking. Yes, to actually to enhance it. And, and that would be one of the first steps that you can take. Then the other one, maybe I will, I can recommend, yes, yeah, singing is, is, it's okay because you improve your, like your, your, I would say your, your style, right? Your pronunciation, your intonation, you improve it when you sing. Yeah. But I mean, the lyrics, you won't use the vocabulary that you have on the lyrics, right? Sometimes. But in this case, what you need to learn is the things that you already know, you need to relearn them. And you need to relearn that by doing what I actually mentioned, right? Like speaking to yourself and do not think about structures. I mean, think about just that you are speaking. But okay, pay attention to something because I have noticed that at this point, you are having some issues with two and four, yeah? Mm -hmm. So when we were uh, like uh, making the exam, no, when, when we were doing, when we were taking the exam, yeah? Taking the exam, okay. Taking, yes, uh, for a speak, no, for a speaking. For a speaking. Yes, speaking. and 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 those are rules that are kind of simple. That every time that you use for, you are going to use ing every time. Okay, teacher. Um, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I I try. Okay, let's try. Okay, and let's see let's how try. you feel. Right. But do it today. Right. Do it today and tomorrow when you are eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Try to do it, okay? And let's see how you feel in the class because tomorrow it is going to be just speaking and vocabulary, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, teacher. Good night. I see you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.